we have a lot more control over our metabolic rate than most people think. Now granted, gender, genetics, and age all play a part in our metabolism. But we are masters of our own bodies. And while it's easy to say that, how do we gain mastery over our metabolism? Well today on Fit and 50, we are going to talk about how to boost our metabolism no matter what our age is. So first, we need to define what our metabolism is and what affects the speed that our body burns energy or calories. So our metabolism is basically the chemical reactions that occur in our body to keep us alive and functioning. And there are four ways in which the speed of our metabolism can be affected. The first is known as the RMR or the resting metabolic rate and this is the amount of energy our body needs just to keep us alive and functioning in the state of sleep. So we don't even need to be moving, we can be in like a comatose state but our body still burns calories even in that state and that is our RMR. The second one is abbreviated TEF, the thermic effect of food and this is the amount of energy it takes to eat, digest, and process food. Our third way is non-exercise thermogenesis, or NEAT for short. And this is the energy or the calories that we use in our regular day-to-day -day activities, like brushing our teeth or getting dressed, or even just standing. And finally, we have exercise, which of course is the calories or energy we use when we train. Now let's go back and look at these four areas and see what we can do to boost our metabolism. So the first area is our RMR or our resting metabolic rate. Now you might think it's not too much we can do about that after all how can we burn more calories when we're at rest? The primary way we do this is by building more muscle mass because muscle burns calories even when we're at rest. As a matter of fact, the primary reason our metabolism slow down as we age is because we lose muscle as we age. I was reading a study where they took a group of men between the ages of 50 and 65 and they put them on a resistance training program three times a week for 16 weeks and their metabolic rate increased by 7.7% after these 16 weeks. Now with the thermic effect of food, there is a lot of foods that affect our metabolic rate. Probably the biggest one is protein. High protein diets burn more calories because it takes more effort for the body to break protein down into its usable components. Low calorie drinks like coffee or green tea because of the caffeine also help to boost our metabolic rates. The study I read on green tea showed that by regularly drinking green tea, you could boost your metabolism by four to five percent. There are other foods as well that can have an effect on our metabolic rate. For example, hot foods like hot peppers or drinking ice freezing cold water. Eating too little also slows our metabolism down, which is why we always discourage extreme dieting. When it comes to the fat loss game, the slow and steady win the race. Eating can actually stimulate your metabolism and that is so true when it comes to breakfast. It has been shown that people who eat breakfast gain less weight than those who traditionally skip it. They figure the reason for this is our metabolism slow down when we're sleeping and that act of eating first thing in the morning kicks our metabolism back up for the day. When it comes to non exercise activity thermogenesis or NEAT. One of the things that I personally do to try to uh, boost my metabolism a bit is I set my work up not only at my desk but also at a table and then I alternate between my desk and the table as I work throughout the day and that little bit of activity burns more calories. So we are now down to the last way in which we can boost our metabolism and that is exercise. And the king of all the exercises for boosting metabolism is HIIT training. This process of taking high intensity intervals 
and their anaerobic intervals with short rest periods has been shown not only to boost our metabolisms during the exercise, but for hours afterwards in what is called an afterburn effect. So we can improve how we look and how we feel. We have that power. And one of the ways we can do this is by boosting our metabolism. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out. Keep having fun. And we will talk to you again in that next video.